it may not be such a bad thing for the kids, but as adults, we oftentimes get sucked into social media. And joining us now was going to be Phil Palin, but unfortunately, he's in SeaWorld right now working with some clients. So, uh, but good news is we're joined by Allison Volk. She's an online presence expert for small businesses from the Blog Babe. So, before we get started, uh, tell us about the Blog Babe. Hi, good morning. <laughs> Uh, the blog Babe is my company. I'm a ghostwriter and a social media strategist for small businesses and entrepreneurs. All right. How about for people who might not be business owners but use social media often and they kind of get wrapped up into it? How do you unplug and relax? Because oftentimes we get too wrapped up in it. Sure. Well, one of the things I tell people is that you have to turn off your notifications. So when you're not using Twitter or Facebook, you shouldn't be receiving notifications on your phone or your tablet device you should be able to completely step away when you're done. Sometimes that's difficult though because you know you, you keep checking it's it's kind of like going into the fridge you keep opening the door to find food and it's just, it's the same stuff over and over and uh, you know so so how do you kind of unplug in that sense? Well, I mean mentally I think it's good to have times when you allow yourself to work on social media because it's true. I mean, it happens to the best of us. You get on and then your friend from college is doing this and your friend from high school is doing that and you lose track of time and suddenly you're in this weird, nebulous world of social media. Yeah, and, and there's so much stuff out there. It's, it's very convoluted and, you know, with that comes people who are maybe a little annoying. What's the best way to uh, disconnect from them? Well, you know, it's funny, but people get really offended when you defriend them or unfollow them on social media. So what I always say is it's actually probably a better strategy to just go into your settings and not receive notifications from those people without actually cutting them off completely. And how about things that you should and shouldn't be posting so that you don't end up being one of those annoying people? <laughs> well, I'd say as soon as you have kids, like notice what you're posting. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, it's just, you know, think of your social media posts as a conversation you're having with another person. So if you're constantly posting pictures of your kid or, or your dinner every day, then, you know, you wouldn't talk to somebody like that in person. So it's probably not a good idea to continually post that type of content. And it's probably good to always think, you know, would my mom, would my grandma approve of what I'm posting, right? Yes, yes, especially if you're in a younger generation, yes. <laughs> how, how about being efficient and effective on social media? You know, as, as you were saying earlier, sometimes it's good to just turn it off and, and have specific times that you use social media. But what if you're in business and you have to use it throughout the day or you use it to communicate with friends? Do you have any recommendations for that? Oh, yeah, that's actually a great question. When it comes to business, I tell my clients to schedule out their social media posts so they know that social media is still working for them during the day and a great resource for that is called the Buffer app. If you go to BufferApp.com you can use it. It's pretty inexpensive. And then once you have your post scheduled, you can just set your clock to, to check in like maybe five minutes a day and just respond, retweet, act like you're, you're more present on social media during the day. Okay, so, so you can kind of uh, preset some of those posts. And uh, one quick note, you actually lived in New London, Connecticut for a while, right? Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> Wait, and, and what were you doing here in CT? Because obviously you're out in L.A. now. Yeah, well, I was studying at the Eugene O'Neill Theater Center, so shout out to my friends in Connecticut. <laughs> All right, very good. Where can we find you, uh, no pun intended, on Twitter or on social media? <laughs> yes, I am on Twitter. My handle is at Allison Volk. And uh, you can find me on Facebook. It's facebook.com forward slash blog babe. All right, Allison, thank you so much. We'll be uh, keeping an eye out for the blog babe. And